Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. It is not even 5.30 in the morning, but I wanted to make sure I got this video up. I had promised you the, the tool cart today, so here it is. Almost empty. The stuff on the bottom, excuse me, is all Etsy shop stuff. When I first started thinking about doing an Etsy, as I came across stuff that I would need for business, I started putting it on that bottom shelf. I have since purchased an actual cart with drawers that is going to go right directly behind it where you see all the 12 by 12 photo albums. So that's the only thing I have to empty yet this morning. Yesterday I went through and I emptied the top two and sorted everything onto my big work table. And the only thing that's actually going back on the cart is from those black containers over. Those are my tools. Um, I just haven't figured out how I'm going to configure them yet. That's first on my list this morning. Everything else is sorted to go into the mixed media cart. Um, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to do. Now, Bob and I had a conversation the other night, and he does not foresee me having the studio done by the time he gets home on Wednesday night. <coughs> well... I'm taking it as a challenge because one way or the other, this studio, everything was going to be moved out of the living room and dining room and back into the studio anyway in its general area. So, that said, I should be ready to move everything, start moving stuff back in this evening. A um, couple of things I've got to work on yet this morning. These are all food boxes, and I keep them for two purposes. Number one, if I've got something that I use, sorry about the glare. If I use something that I get several of the same boxes on, I will keep these because, you can see this has a spine. I'll cut the other side out, cut the ends off, and then I have a ready-made book cover. And the other books, the other boxes, I can cut them apart and have the front and back of the boxes to use as sturdy pages within the book. So, that is, they're great for doing... Um, like if you're going to use the bookbinding rings and do a ring-bound journal, those are perfect for doing that with. Um, I also have a box. I set it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Over here on my planner shelf. I keep all of my Velveeta cookie boxes because they are white on the back. So I only have to cover the front. And I've got ready-made journaling tags. Uh, with white surface. This is my filming table that is not in the area where it belongs, but I've got to finish sorting it this morning and <coughs> determining what here will go on the tool cart and what I want to keep on the work table. Now my plan is that the carousel and maybe my ink box or my glue box will be the only things that are left on this table so that then I have the rest of it for work surface, laying my trimmer and that kind of thing when I'm filming videos. The other thing is, um, once I get everything moved back in here, I have a project. I have two projects, actually. One is to break down all of my paper pumpkin kits, and I don't have one in here handy right now, and I'll store all of the stamp sets from the paper pumpkin in their own photo box, and then break down all the rest of the paper components, string components, that kind of thing, and put them where I store those items within the studio. Um, the other thing is all of my stamps. I've got a lot of stamp sets that I still need to catalog, and this will give you an idea of how I catalog them. They all have what category they are in, so this one goes in seasonal, and then I've got a sticker on it as to whether it has a die set or a punch set. Now, I have in the past stored all of my stamps that have dies with them in a CD case like this. And my magnet sheet is over here with all the dies that coordinate with it. The only problem with that is, is there are some things within the set, like this grass die, that don't have a stamp that goes with them that I might want to use that grass for something else. But unless I'm thinking Easter, I don't think about it. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to take all of my die sets out and store them with, like I do the rest of my dies, 
and on magnet sheets in these um, laminate pouch pockets that I have made. And I do have a video on that, I do believe, on my channel. If it's there, I will link it down below. And then I will label... The stamp set will still have die sticker to it, and then if there's a stamp set that goes with it, then this one will say Seasonal One Stamp. And then I'll know if there's a stamp set that goes with it. So, I probably am not going to get the stamps and the, and the paper pumpkin stuff taken care of before Bob gets home on Wednesday, but they will be moved back in here into the studio because I'm going to need this tabletop to do both of those projects anyway. So those are the last two things I want to do, but they still have to come out of the living room. So, um, <clears throat> I've got a big box, a uh, basket of lace trims in there, and I'm going to show you really quick how I store my laces. Whoops, guess not. I guess the lace basket is in the living room with the other laces. Um, I've got a big box basket that slides in and out of there, and I have carded all of my laces, my big laces, lace sheets, um, similar to the way I have done my fabric on my Tim Holtz shelf, I've just made a cart, made a foam core bobbin large enough to fit those, and they store in a basket in there. So I've got those to cut down and wind on cardboard. So <clears throat> making progress, still a lot of way to go, but I had promised you the tool cart today, and that's where I'm at with the tool cart. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, like I said, it's early, so I'm just now getting stuff situated to what I need to do. All of this stuff here is mixed media type stuff that needs to go in the mixed media binders on my mixed media cart. When I am through, my goal is to only have a spot for my laptop and my planner um, rack on this table and leaving the rest of the rack, rest of the table free to work on big projects. So, <clears throat> lay out pages for junk journals um, or items that I'm putting together for Etsy, that kind of thing. I still haven't decided on the Etsy, and I'd love to have your comments down below. There are a lot of pros and cons to Etsy. Uh, visibility is a big con, or a big pro for me, uh, just starting out. But then there are so many things that by the time you deduct all of their fees you're lucky to make much. So I'm considering going indie. If I do that, I'm going to need to do that on my channel. So um, let me know your comments down below what you think. Etsy, uh, lives on YouTube, which ones do you think are most valuable? Keep in mind, majority of my Etsy is not going to be digital. They are going to be hard items that I need to ship. So, um, you know, if you go to Etsy primarily for digitals, um, that's not why you're going to be going to my shop. You're going to be going for journal kits, ephemera, journaling supplies, that kind of thing that I will package and mail to you. Um, so something to keep in mind. Um, I think that's it for this morning. Uh, it is now 5.30. I need coffee and I want to get started on this stuff. I have put on my stepper. And we're going to see how many steps I rack up today getting this done. Um, like I said, Bob is supposed to be home Wednesday night. There was some chatter last night in our conversation that he's heard it, he won't get off the boat until Thursday morning. So, But either way, this stuff will be back in the office by Wednesday morning so that I can chill Wednesday afternoon and just tidy up the house and be ready for him to come home. Um, I'm trying to think. We've got a new beginner series coming up with Dear Julie Julie. I think it starts tonight. Um, so I will link her channel down below. If it starts tonight, it will be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And so just go to her channel, click on videos, and look for... Uh, a live and that will bring you right to our live chat where we will be getting starting that series um, We're going to be starting this series using um, Little golden books. I don't have any little golden books that I will tear up 
but I do have a couple of small books that I bought specifically for this class at Dollar Tree. Hang on, here they are. I showed them in last week's Dollar Tree haul video. These are very similar to a little golden book. They're just a little smaller. And this is what I'm going to be using for the beginner series. So I hope you'll join us. Um, for the time that we are locked in, Dear Julie Julie is live at 1230 Central Standard Time during the day where she's doing all kinds of little ephemera pieces and showing you how to do some really cool stuff. And then our new journal series, Beginner's Journal Series, will run at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, also, they're set as premieres, so Julie's in the room with us. You can ask her any questions. And Julie and all of us are there to help answer questions, um, give tips, whatever you need. So I hope you'll join us and look forward to me doing some lives here soon. i am just got to get the studio finished first. If you like organizational videos, want to see how this all comes together, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe so you'll know when new videos go up. Right now, new videos go up Monday and Friday. And I'm trying to do one that goes up on the 25th of the month. I missed Reindeer Club last month because of all this, but things should be back in order and I will have a Reindeer Club video on the 25th. So come back and join us. Have a great week and create a blessings.